So how are we doing guys? As we know, we've got a quick game against Ufa, Fair Russia, which is a pretty rough place to go. When you look at them, they've not done great in the league. They finished 6th last year, they're not the most dominant sides, but it doesn't mean that they won't cause us problems. They got by progress narrowly, but we should, compare us out to last year, feel that we should get by progress, just like they did, and we should probably get by them, so... I'm confident, especially at home, but you never know, so we need to keep playing the way we play and play the best team we can. So as you can tell, McGregor's in goals, Tavernier right back, Connor Goldson sitting in centre back, solid as always, just really is, like, he's really shown, he's probably one of the best defenders in the league, if not the best, and then beside him, someone who is definitely only going to keep getting better and better, brilliant player, he's learning from Goldson every single day, and he's got so much composure on the ball for someone so young. Especially for a centre back, obviously he'll make a lot of mistakes here and there, but for him to try some and stuff like that, dink over the top is just mad. Then left back, Flanag is in because I'm pretty sure Barisic can't play until group stages I think it is. And uh, he's fit again so he'll probably slip in ahead of Andy Halliday, that's for sure. Although Andy Halliday gave a good shift in the last European game to fate him and then was great at the weekend. Then, centre mid, if fit, has got to be Ryan Jack. You can't not put him in the team the way he's been playing. Absolutely outstanding. And he's on number 8, same as Stevie G. Then, besides him, if fit, yet again, Lasana Kulavali. Now, if he's not fit, I can see probably a Jaria playing in there, or maybe Halliday covering in again, because Halliday was really solid. But, Lasana Kulavali playing centre mid, if he's fit, because we've seen how good he is. He's a massive presence and will be massive for us if he plays. And then beside him, Scott Arfield, he's been great. He's been an absolute talisman in midfield for us and he'll continue that. So your midfield three would be Ryan Jack, eh, Scott Arfield and then Lasana Kulabali. Three great players that can all do a job. Then going up to the wings, we have Daniel Gondes on the wing. Remember Murphy's out now, so Daniel Gondes will be on the right use him for his speed and his energy to chase back against Ufa and make sure we don't lose any wee goals as well as create maybe a couple of chances with his crosses. Then on the left, because Murphy's definitely out, it's going to be Ryan Kent. He's not going to play with Marcel Dehren on the wing, so it's going to be Ryan Kent playing on the other wing. He's going to be running at people and hopefully causing a lot of problems for the defence. You never know, Russians normally have quite slow big teams, so he may be able to cut in and out them. But then here's a man that loves a physical challenge, Alfredo Morelos, hat trick at the weekend, absolutely outstanding. And here's to another one, his first of a hat trick, but hopefully he gets another, and that would be absolute class. So to round it all up for you, in goals, Alan McGregor. He got a wee rest at the weekend, so he's definitely playing this game, and you can't not play him in your biggest games. Tavernier right back, captain. Was brilliant, three assists at the weekend. Then Katic Goldson, who are just solid all the time. Flanagan at left back. Arfield, Ryan Jack, and Ovi Ajaria. Then Ryan Kent up top, or, or up on the left wing with Kedis right and Morelos sitting peak of that team. Absolutely solid team, and definitely a team that can beat Ufa if they play at their best. So hopefully we go out there and we do play our best and we run it. So, thanks for watching, and comment down below what you think the score will be if you've lasted this long. I'm thinking 2-0 Rangers. I'll go with 2-0 because I feel that we're solid enough to defend for them. Big solid defence, and we'll probably score a lot, but I don't think the pushovers don't make me wrong, so I don't think we'll score much more than 2, but hopefully I'm proved wrong.